Porsche covered in gold leaf. It's a real eye-catcher here in Pforzheim. But the gleaming sports car isn't attracting too many customers. And the few that come aren't in a buying mood. I still have something like this from days when business was booming. We're just looking. It's always nice to look at jewelry, but otherwise... Have Germans become hesitant to buy? I ask a leading jeweler. He's realistic and expects turnover to be low this year. But he's still selling necklaces for 40,000 euros apiece. And although there's not much happening here right now, he says business is still good. The manufacturers, who are also very active abroad, have had other experiences. We're active in the American market, which already took a nosedive months ago, and the Eastern European market, which experienced a weak period before Christmas. Georg Leicht has just made a badge of honor for Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, for free. The jeweler can afford to do that because, strangely enough, he has a lot of new customers. We have a whole bunch of clients who say, precisely at this time we want to spend money on something we're convinced has lasting value. So, at the moment, we're reading everywhere that times are getting worse. But our bottom line doesn't reflect this. Is he just an exception? Almost 70% of all the jewellery made in Germany is produced here in Pforzheim. The city is known as the country's jewellery capital, even though it may not look like that at first glance. Pforzheim's business marketer says the industry here is used to crises. Competition from Asia has played a big role. We in the jewellery industry are at the end of a structural change. The last 20, 30 years were difficult. Those who've survived are, in principle, those who've adapted and are competitive. One of them is jewellery maker Gellner. The family business specializes in pearl jewellery, exclusively one-of-a-kind items, all made by hand. Here, 350 diamonds are being placed into the clasp for this necklace. The biggest, nicest string of pearls in the world right now is this one here. With such large pearls? Yes, this is the largest. At the front, they're up to 22 millimeters in size, very unique. The pearl farmer had to harvest for 10 years to produce this necklace. What does it cost? A million euros. Until now, exclusivity has sold well. But in recent months, jewelers, Gellner's clients, have been ordering less, especially in the US. Gellner's sales there have dropped by a third. And to make things worse, pearls have become more expensive on the world market. The price difference occurred last year due to exchange rates. Pearls are sold in yen, and in the last year alone, the yen rose 40% against the euro. To combat the current financial crisis, Gellner is pinning its hopes on new clients. Men, for instance. The company believes they'll be sporting more pearl jewelry in the future. Women don't take as much convincing. At least the German ones are still willing to splash out a bit. And that gives Germany's jewellery industry hope, even if the future for exports doesn't look so bright.